Welcome to Virtual Tarot, Sagittarius. I'm Trudy. I'm Ava. And we are reading for Sagittarius. Which we just said. <laughs> That's right. Coming to you in the month of February. The month of love. That's right. So we're going to read for you Love Tarot Style. Yes, we happen to have teleported back to the 1970s, early 70s. And we landed in this... Uh, Opium den. Opium den layer of love. Right. And Without the opium addicts. Yes. <laughs> we cleared them all away. <gasps> tut, tut. I don't like any smoke. Off, off of you. <laughs> off of you. Um, um, but uh, anyway, uh, so we... Oh, tell them what you're wearing for some Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to oh. put the... Um, your this is fire. your symbol. Your fire symbol. You are a wand. And wands are always kind of... You know, they, to me, they're obscure. A bit. I mean, I understand swords, I understand cups, I understand the pentacles, but wands are kind of hard to wrap your arm oh, around. Oh, really? Well, the wand, the wand is the this part from the tree of life, mm. and the life force um, is what it's about. Okay. And that life force bursts out from these um, blossoms, and it All right. represents the passion for life. The, the desire passion, okay. the wanting, the yearning passion. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's, that's nice. What it is. Yeah, and it couldn't be a more beautiful symbol for it you. It is, it's really beautiful. The wand. Okay, and moving right along to what, we're, what we have on. Oh, <laughs> what which is wearing. even more important. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so. I have a wrap dress. wearing a wrap dress. 1970s wrap dress. And it is the Diane von Furstenberg retrospective. Going on right now. Um, Coincidentally. We didn't even know that. We didn't when know we started that. wearing wrap dresses for this whole 70s yes. theme. She's our girl crush for the month of yes, February. Yes, she is. She's a wonderful woman. And I am to... wearing the Sony. I love it. It's like a piece of art. Yeah, which probably y'all either know about or you don't know about. Oh. The Sony um, started in the 70s in Italy. Maybe the 60s, actually. But um, family-owned business, now worldwide. Everybody knows the Sony. Yeah. They do? Yes, at me. Yeah, <laughs> Sony, the Sony, the Sony. Oh my god. Um, so here we are, and we're gonna read for you. Masoni esque. Um, yes. Yes. So. We're gonna do a Masoni reading. Um, <laughs> so it's a uh, four card spread. If you haven't been with us before, uh, what we do is we read in the moment. Every reading that we do is spontaneous of spirit. Um, in the moment, and uh, the first card will represent the overall environment of the month. The last card is the wrap-up, um, what, what you can expect going into next month, um, and we'll also just, you know, do a little discussion at the end. Yes, and let's do a little recap before we even begin. Okay. For uh, Sagittarius. All right. What happened last month? Yes. Minutes. Yeah, Sagittarius. Well, you so, had the Ten of Cups. Oh, which, which the is family a, reunion, yeah, family, uh, right. happy family occasion, mm -hmm. uh, feeling really nurtured by the right. family. Right, Ten and of Cups is a cool card because it it's is. finding heaven through family, yes. a little taste of heaven through family. Um, they also had the Four of Swords at the beginning of the reading, which would oh, be a time yes. to sort of like take, take a little bit of time out, reflect, um, take an assessment of the year. Um, um, and also uh, reevaluate the battles you've been through mm -hmm. and to sort out mentally um, how well you did in the challenges that you've had before. Yeah, it's a good January card. Yeah. But then at the end there was the Queen of Swords upright, which tells us that anything that you had going on in, from a legal standpoint, going in your favor, oh, yes. things are fair and just and upright, yes, clear and communication. Right. Clear communication and um, being uh, rational as opposed to being led by your heart. You know, yeah. just logical instead logical. of overly emotional. Right. So, 
spontaneously. You ready? The magic of the moment. Here we go. <laughs> All right. All right. You ready? Ready. Oh. <gasps> Overall environment of the month. And Ooh. Sagittarius is the fool. And that's true. <laughs> I do, we don't mean that in 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 a yes. uh, uh, demeaning way. No, because the fool is actually the wisest of the cards. Actually, yes. You know, it's the gesture. Mm -hmm. Jester, pardon me. Mm -hmm. And in the court, uh, uh, medieval courts, the jester was the closest one to the to the king. Mm -hmm. He had the king's ear, yeah. and it was because you know sometimes the wisest people, genius can look like foolishness yeah. to the rest of humanity, but they're really the most clever. They're wise, mm -hmm. and this is about taking a risk also. Mm -hmm. You see, the, the fool is at the edge of a precipice. Right. And with his little dog. With his little dog, and he's got all his belongings in a little sack, mm -hmm. and he's joyful, and he's trusting, and he's uh, full of faith in the future. So, and, and he shed responsibility, or he has not yet um, burdened himself. Right. With the responsibilities of society. Right. So he's a freedom to go out he's and a free invent spirit. himself. And that's why he is you. He's a free spirit. A breath of fresh air. And he therefore doesn't mind taking risks. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're going to do in the month of February. It's very you, Sag. Absolutely. Wow. Sagittarius. It's really a big this time. This February. Mm -hmm. I would look forward to February. Yeah, because. because. Yeah, I would too. Okay, and we have the magician upright in the challenge position. Nothing can stand. Oh, that's Olivia Newton John. Got to believe it. Okay, Enough of that. Olivia right. Newton John <laughs> sang a song about magic. So oh, let's move on. I love Olivia Newton John. Oh my God, I love her. Oh. You do? Oh my god. Really? Why? I don't know. She's part of my childhood. I just oh. love her so much. Like yeah. her music. I used to dress like her. You did? <laughs> did she have her hair? Yes, the <laughs> hair and the band the, you know the bandana. The bandanas yeah. and the and the um, crazy leggings. Oh god. Loved her. Okay. All right. And She's so, our other girl crush, Livy Newton John, right. <laughs> Diane right. von Furstenberg, and Livy Newton John. Okay. We got a lot of them. Yeah. Anyway, so the next card is the unexpected in the unexpected position. And what we have is the Two of Wands. Oh, how interesting. Oh, wow. So. There is something going on this month. All right. So. The challenge is to manifest, and in unexpectedly, there are two. There's a, there's a choice. You're presented with a choice unexpectedly. Oh, yes, boy. So, yes, so literally you could go in two directions. Yeah. Or you could two passions. You could you could take that that all that passion, all that skill and apply it to either one mm -hmm. of these these directions, okay. these projects. Yeah, and it's time to launch. So unexpectedly you're faced with a choice. A choice which Passion, will you actually Is, put your energy into exactly. and launch out into the world? Right, because they're, they, you're, the picture depicts the gentleman holding on to both equally. Mm -hmm. So it's it's they sort of are equal in their um, uh, influence on you, and therefore you are torn. Yeah, but Between. there is still this idea that the choice has been made, it's in the upright, there's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen, right. Wow, and the challenge is to manifest it. Oh, and the challenge is to manifest but it. But it is in the upright. Mm -hmm. And to take a risk. Yeah, Because. and to take a risk. And to take a risk. Yeah, mm-hmm. Start over. Get rid of the old baggage. Clean, clean out your closet. My God. Get rid of the old baggage. Get rid of your overhead. Look at your overhead. And also, the card, the gentleman is positioned at the periphery of his world, mm -hmm. looking out into a new world. Right. And he has he's launched the ships, but he doesn't quite know what's going to happen. 
So again, choice is involved, but also as a, this is the waiting card. Mm -hmm. This is the waiting to see what all your efforts will bear for you, will 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 garner for you. Mm -hmm. So if you're opening a new store, uh huh, or uh, getting a new job, or um, uh, moving mm -hmm. to a new place, all this is a it's, part it's of gonna this. It's going to happen, There's yeah. a huge voyage happening. But you're going to manifest a whole new adventure. Because the Fool is about adventure. It is. It's a, a, and Sagittarians love adventure. Yeah, and this is just... They're the archaeologists. Oh yeah. Yeah, they are. They're the they're sportsmen. Mm -hmm. They're hunters. That's they're, right. They're 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 adventure seekers. Yeah. But you you're gonna have an adventure. Alright. And you won't believe what's coming up at the end. Oh my gosh. I, I have a Sag rising. I know. Yahoo! <laughs> oh my gosh, and that's weird because I'm a Gemini with a Sag rising and this is the sun. We're ending on the sun, and, and Gemini, Gemini begins, begins on. with the sun. How do you like that? Interesting. Interesting for her. Yeah. So these are why you, you should go to your rising sign and your moon sign right. and sort of correlate all the information. It gives you a really wide mm -hmm. view of, of events. Isn't that interesting? Because so, of this new adventure, boy, you're uh, liking it. You're liking it. it uh, mm -hmm. The end result of the adventure, the end result even of the choice, the end result of the risk is the sun, which is abundance. Yes. This is wealth too, you yeah. know. It's, a, it's one of the cards that symbolizes um, emotional, intellectual, um, passionate, Wealth. Mm -hmm. Well, the sun nurtures. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. sun is, I mean, if it weren't for the sun, I mean. We wouldn't be here. No. No. So, That's why there was sun worship in right. antiquity. They, they, they relied upon the sun. They relied upon the sun. Without it, they knew that they wouldn't be eating or surviving. Right. And that's why it becomes symbolic of all things that nourish. Yeah. And uh, so you're nourished by your adventure and you feel completely, this is not only, um, you, you know it's celebration, it's freedom. Wow. It's total freedom and childlike revelry. Right, right. That's what it is. Oh, wonderful. Yay for you. Oh my gosh, what a really super duper reading. Oh. So okay. there's this new thing they're doing, this new adventure that yeah. Sag is going on. Yeah. So that is cool. That is cool. And you know you're going to love that. Yes. Because the uh, Sagittarians live for adventure. They do. They do. And believe in magic because oh, yeah. this is pure magic. Pure magic. What's Coming your, up what's in your, fe February right. for you. Good month. Um, so, so we wanted to let you know, even though you're month is imbued with magic yes. <laughs> that we're doing personal readings yes. um, if you are interested in specifics or any other area of your life yeah love like love like because love. for some reason spirit well, isn't talking to us no, very much in the month, month of about February love. <laughs> about love. and we are not in charge of that no, no. spirit communicates yeah. when spirit wants These to communicate. These are spontaneous readings and we can't calculate what's going to happen. But you, you couldn't have a better reading. Now, nonetheless, it's good to know that we do personal readings for you and we create readings um, that are custom, meaning that we um, create a spread that's designed specifically to meet your needs. And we have different categories for them uh -huh. and different price ranges. Please go to WordPress. Pardon me. <laughs> I never know. Virtualtarot.wordpress.com. Yes. Take a look. Um, we're also doing a poetry slam this month. Oh, I love that. I love poetry. And uh, we have a new poet. We're posting a couple of her pieces on our site, mm -hmm. or we have. Mm -hmm. Um, take a look, get inspired, and then pen one of your own. Uh, post it, it on our Facebook page. Yes, you'll, you'll see, see the underneath link. the link to it. You can just, uh, I'm sure some of you have written poetry before, so pick out some of the best ones that you like and, and send it to us, and then we will share it with the world Sunday at our 
fan love video session. Right. Uh, which means you only have a couple of days. Um, <laughs> and even if it's in another language, we'll read it because sometimes we get uh, posts on our Facebook page in other languages. And I'm sorry that we had to translate it, but we, we have someone who's going to translate that. Yes. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and have a wonderful month. Yes. We'll see you next month in the month of March. Bye, Sagittarius. Bye, Sag. Bye, Sag. Hey man, that's groovy.